Today is my first day of chemotherapy. Yesterday, I was a mess. I was nervous, I had anxiety, cried a little bit, didn't know what to expect. But we prayed, a lot of people prayed with me, sang, sent me songs, and I feel better. I feel equipped for today. I just want to do a quick video on what to bring to chemo because I brought a lot of stuff because I didn't know exactly what I needed. First, I got a sweater that was kind of big, so it'd be easy access. I guess the chemo's gonna plug into here and go upward. This beer came in the mail and it says, get well, and it was from my husband. So I brought that with me. My daughter Trinity said, what are you gonna name the beer? And I said, I'm gonna name it Victory. So her name is Victory, as in guaranteed victory, because after this is over, there will be victory and I'll be ringing the bell out there. So must haves in your chemo bag. An iPad, you can take voice memos, um, jot down stuff. I've been journaling my experience, so it's all there. Next, we have a game, <laughs> kind of like Connect Four. I brought that because we're gonna be here for five hours so that my husband and I could play. I wear contact lenses, so I brought my glasses just in case the contacts dry out. I have this book, God's Creative Power for Healing. It's a quick read, so I should be able to get that done today. Got some ginger chews, in case my stomach gets a little upset. Communion, the blood still works. We just had communion. I have more because I know that God has healed so many people from this awful disease and he'll heal me too. In case I take a nap, I have this. This was a gift from my daughter Trinity. And I have a charger for my phone and the iPad. They start going weak. Just plug it right in. Kind of cool. All right, so neck rest, even though this chair reclines, got some chapstick, lotion. I did bring a comb. Don't know how much longer I'm going to have my hair, but might as well comb it while I have it. I have this book, um, Breast Cancer Treatment. Um, I have notes, I have a personal letter from my aunt in here, and I also have the letter that says, we are pleased to inform you that your breast imaging was normal, benign, not cancer. So ladies, even if you find out that your mammogram is normal, if you have medical history, dense breast, anything of that nature, demand an ultrasound because the ultrasound to other factors picked up on the tumor that was growing inside me. I also have this book, Hills of Cancer. That's by Joel Osteen's mom, Duty Osteen. I have a little, another journal in case I want to write stuff down. I have this blanket from a dear friend of mine. She actually gave me this last year during all the social unrest, so when things were going on with George Floyd and things like that. It's my blanky gram full of positive words. And when I recline later and lay down, I'll be wrapped in my blanky gram. So I pull this out when I need it the most, and this is one of those times when I need that. And Finally, with I have this book given to me by one of my son's friends, Nia Long. It's called Michael Todd Crazy Faith. It's only crazy until it happens. So here we go. These are my items, the orange juice, we're gonna do them cookies. Those came from the Cancer Center. This, I guess, is getting ready to start moving. There's a beautiful view outside. I'm sure that's going to be gorgeous in the summertime. 
and we have a flat screen TV on the wall. And we're ready to fight this battle. I'm in the battle, but the battle's not mine. It's the Lord's. Thank you for watching.